Hey everybody, today we have ourselves a little bit of a project. Um, later this fall, when the ground gets too icky for digging and the sky gets too icky for climbing, I've got an idea that I wanna try. I'm not gonna share with you what the idea is yet. We'll save that for another video because I'm not sure it's gonna work out. And I just, I wanna put that all in one video if it's a fail or success. But either way, that project involves towing something with the excavator. So in order to do that, I've seen people put just the standard two by two tube receiver on the blade of their mini excavator. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I've got uh, this little bit of just square tubing. The inside is two inches by two inches, probably a little bit bigger actually. So you can slide a two inch by two inch hitch in it. And it's got the pin already cut into it. And uh, it's just a blank piece that we can weld on wherever we want. I am definitely not a welder. I am just a fellow that owns a welder and can do enough to kind of stick stuff together. So don't be too hard on me, but I'll just let you know ahead of time you ain't gonna see nothing great. This is gonna be a pretty ineffe in ineffective, I mean inexpensive project. Uh, I think I picked this thing up for 10 bucks down at the truck and trailer surplus store. So I'm excited because I love projects that don't cost a lot of money and I just, you know, just like being out in the garage a little bit, just grinding and welding and that kind of thing. Stick around, you'll get to see the whole thing. Okay, now the way I want to mount this hitch might not be the easiest way, but you know, the easiest way isn't always the best way. So I actually was a part of mounting a hitch on one of these machines before and we put it up here, just like so. And it never was really in the way. I kind of just want a little bit more of a flush and you know, less in the way mounting if I can get it. So I'm gonna try cutting a hole in the blade and sticking it right here. This, the top of the blade when the blade's all the way up in the up position like this, is right at like 28 and a half inches. And I think even on like a tag trailer, I remember setting dump truck hitches at like 30 inches one time for somebody I worked for previously. So I think that'll be enough hitch height. So we'll probably just cut a hole, weld this on here, and then we'll probably stick a brace of some kind in here because the thin sheet metal this blade is made out of is not enough. Let's get to it. You know what, I'm doing this wrong. I should, I want to make these corners radius and so I should definitely start with like a drill bit in the four corners and drill them out nice. That's what I should do. Should have used a punch. up to it. Well that's pitiful. Oh it's almost dead that's why. So what you're gonna see a lot in videos where I make stuff is a lot of hodgepodge and using homeowner tools for professional stuff. I my skills are probably also lacking a little bit so if you got tips I'd definitely appreciate them. I know you're supposed to use a center punch to keep your drill bit from walking around but the one I thought I had isn't where I thought I had it, so we're gonna just fight the walk. My goodness, this is impossible. Thank <laughs> you. 
now. Perfect. Well, despite our lack of measuring, most of those holes end up where I want them. They're pretty close. I think they'll work. I don't have any other options anymore anyway. Oh, there we go. I think that'll do the trick. Let's see how she fits. <clears throat> and it doesn't. Looks like it needs a little bit trimmed off in the corners. That's probably the most of it. Well, it just ejected that little sandpaper drum. This is probably a little bit of a light duty tool for this task. Kind of seems like my general theme for life. That abrasive didn't last long either. Woohoo, she's warm. I'm sure that wasn't enough. No, that thing's a joke. Time to get serious. Ah! Well, after a little love with the angle grinder and about 30 of those abrasive drums on that jewelry grinder, we've got fitment. And it actually fits pretty good. It took my time to come right up to it, getting all the little high spots, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So. Now I'm gonna place a bead. I think it might leave it out a little bit just to give me some some space to weld there instead of welding it flush. I don't know, that, that shovel's gonna catch on every time I go by with the shovel cleaning the blade off. I probably should try to weld it flush. I guess that wouldn't be quite as strong, but it's not like I am actually know what I'm doing with a welder anyway, so <laughs> I think we'll go for this right here. All right, we got this thing all clamped in here and squared up and everything. Got a shim from our precision shim set in the back there to make sure it's sitting the way we want it and we're gonna stick the welder to it. <laughs> I didn't mean actually stick the welder to it, but that's what's gonna happen probably too. <laughs> well that was far from perfect, but it ain't too bad I don't think knock our slag off and see what we can learn. Good enough, let's keep going. Well, the second vertical wall looks way better than the first one, so must be getting better. lame. I'm not proud of it, but it's on there and I don't think it'll come off, especially once we brace it up in the back. You know the saying, right? Grinder and paint make me the welder I ain't. <laughs> well, that's what's gonna happen here, that's for sure. <laughs> well, there it is. I ground off my ugly welds and tried to plumb things, you know, smooth things up so a shovel wouldn't catch on it when it was going by to clean off the blade and and I found out that some of my welds really weren't penetrated well enough and when I ground off what was above the surface it exposed a crack that was between 
the pieces of metal that I was trying to weld. I am goofing around, welding the grind and welding the grind, spent way too much time on it, and it's hopefully gonna be good enough. Just to make things extra good enough, we're gonna take this little piece of metal, we're gonna stick it right in there, and we're gonna weld that up real quick. And then we're gonna put a brace on from here to here or something like that. See if any of those turned out better since they're in a little bit easier position to weld. Two good examples because they were almost side by side, back to back welds. The top one looks excellent. Couldn't be better, at least from my knowledge of welding, which is quite limited. The bottom one looks terrible. Could be a lot better. I think the difference was I took a little bit more time and went a little bit slower on the top one. I just went too fast on the bottom one. So I cleaned it up the best I could. The best solution I got is to just cover it up with more weld. Oh, that's the stodgy mess that we ended up with, so it is what it is. I'm, I'm not going to make it any better by welding on it more, so time to move on. All right, so the last thing we have to do here is to brace this thing up. I want to attach it to something back here to just kind of make it stronger, make it more rigid. So I have this piece of angle iron that was just sitting around in a scrap pile. I think we can just kind of weld it between the square tube that we're adding to the blade and then this round tube that's a structural piece of the blade down here, and I think put half on each side it'll be plenty strong so I'm just going to go ahead and break this in half real quick and then we'll get to weld perfect I think those welds might actually be pretty all right. Kind of excited to see them. All right, I'm not disappointed in this one. This one turned out really good. That one down there doesn't look terrible, but it's kind of, no, it's actually pretty good. I just could stand to clean the slag out of it better. This one over here wasn't too bad, and that one down there wasn't too bad, but it seems like every time I don't weld for a while, I get really bad at it whenever I start welding again, and then I can never, I've never been able to weld vertical very well. I don't know, I'm probably missing some key information or something. But that's okay. That's how it goes when you're just self-taught, you know? Don't get to have all the rules from the beginning. Well, that about puts a wrap on the hitch unit as far as structure stuff goes. So this is, I mean, this is what we ended up with. It's pretty unoffensive to the normal person, <laughs> I think. You know, anybody that knows anything about welding might be offended by it a little bit, but I won't be too offended by it, and that's what counts here in this situation. It's not up on top and in the way and everything. I think it's about as low profile as it could possibly be, and aside from it just getting jammed full of mud really easy, I think it'll be just fine. So yeah, I, I'm super excited. This is going to open up a world of possibilities for this machine. I've got a bunch of different ideas that are going to utilize that spot there, that hitch. Well, you just have to subscribe and stick around if you want to see them. But I would even hook it up to an empty trailer and like show you moving around stuff and I'd do it tomorrow and film it in the daylight and include it, but I don't even own a trailer. So I can't do that for you. I don't have anything that I can tow with it right now. I am going to hit it with some cheap spray paint that'll hopefully fade fast and match the rest of the blade here. You know, this blade is, it's been a long time since this blade looked all nice and new and shiny. So the new shiny black spray paint is going to look kind of crappy on it, but that's okay. We'll throw something on there and at least it'll keep it from rusting. Oh man, the paint made those walls look so much worse. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Here's what it is. Maybe I'll look down and see that and it'll keep me humble. Remind me I'm not ever probably as good at something as I think I am. Definitely not great at painting either, but that's probably more of a matter of patience than anything. Paint runs and everything. I can at least show you what a hitch looks like in it. We 
got plenty of room and access to the pin, which is something I was worried about and wanted to make sure I maintain. Of course, I dripped, dripped a spider web, cobwebby bit right into the paint, but that is what it is. I'll hop in the machine real quick, start up, and run it up and down so you can see what maximum and minimum lift look like. Obviously, this hitch is set up as a drop hitch right now, but that, that's what I have to show you with, so that's what, what we got. So this right here at full height with this drop hitch situation, if there was a pinnel hook on here anyway, the bottom of the pinnel is at 22 and a half, or about there. So that's still plenty fine. And then as you saw, it gets nice and low too, which probably doesn't have a ton of value, but I didn't want to find myself in a position where I had to run the blade just a few inches off the ground to keep whatever I'm towing nice and low. And this, I mean, if it was really a problem, I could always flip the hitch or something like that. But I think this spot will work out plenty fine. I think it'll work out good, so I'm excited to use it. I hope you guys are excited to see it in action too. I'll try to get you some footage here before too long, and uh, we'll see how she works out in the long run. Definitely not an expensive thing to add to the to the machine. I think I had 10 bucks in that tube. I had some of that scrap laying around. Really could use anything. The angle just worked out good. It's just after that, it's time and welding rod. You know, what, what do we got in welding rod? You know, right. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what I paid for that welding rod, but it ain't much. And so I think this will work out really good. I'm excited. Now I'm going to pull this machine out and put the pickup truck back in here. We got a contract climb to go to tomorrow and I want that truck to be ready to go. Nice when it's in the garage, doesn't have dew all over the windshield. Not that that's a big deal, but it's just nice, you know. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to hit that like button. It helps out the channel a lot and it doesn't cost you a thing. And also, if you get the chance, please subscribe. We really appreciate subscribers and it definitely helps support the channel. Pull her out! <laughs>